What's up everyone, Bob over at RC Auto Works. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to set up a base map on an S300. Maybe you purchased one from us. If you have, this is uh, what this video is for. If you have not purchased one yet and would like to, and you have any other questions, there's a phone number and email below. Feel free to shoot us a message. Thank you. Okay, so we're sitting inside the car. S300 is plugged in and the USB cable is plugged into the laptop as well. We have S300 already downloaded onto the computer. If you do not have it downloaded already, we'll include a link down below as well. So once you have the S300 and everything hooked up to your laptop, when you turn to the, the key to the on position, you're going to see that little lightning bolt. Once you click that, or you can click F10, you are now connected to the S300. At this point, you're going to have to go to registered owner, and if the S300 is not registered, you will have to register it at this time. If you purchase the S300 from us, and or you have uh, an e-tune from us, it already will be registered, so you do not have to do that. Um, at this point, once you register it, you're pretty much set to load a base map. Click on File, click on New. And at this point, it's going to bring up all the calibrations that Hondetta has uh, supplied for you. You can click on anything that meets your, uh, your setup. Scroll down here. you got a couple selections. Or if you just want to start from scratch, you can click on the 2001 ITR setup, stock everything. At this point, depending on the window and, and how you have it set up, it's either going to be blank like this. You can click on tables to see the actual map. The fuel map, the ignition maps are all over here. If the car is not stock and you need to change anything, up here is going to be where you're going to want to do your changes in the parameter settings. Uh, for example, if you do not have stock injectors, you click on injectors. And you will enter your size injectors in there. Don't forget, because it's a very, very um, important step and it gets overlooked a lot, make sure you have your dead times. Make sure you enter your dead times. Uh, Honda it does provide a couple uh, setups already in, inside. If you do not see your injectors listed here, um, go to the manufacturer's website. If you can't find them on the website, shoot them an email. Um, and then the most other common upgrade or update that people have to do is if you click on the map sensor. People are running four bar map sensors. At this point, you will click on replacement map sensor. Scroll down to whatever map sensor you're running. If you're running any kind of four bar map sensor, usually this is the selection for it, unless you're running uh, you know, some kind of random or rare four bar map sensor. But usually this is the one you wanna click on. So at this point, if there's any other changes you want to make up on top, uh, that's going to come in a later video, and I'll explain all that. But that's the basics on how to upload a map. Uh, once you're done and you do want to upload, there is this little arrow over here, right there. You click on that. Uh, anytime you make a change in the back half, it's uh, you want to upload it like that as well. If you're dyno tuning or tuning on the street, you do not have to click that arrow button every time. Um, it does real-time uh, live changes on the map. So that is just uh, at the beginning when you actually want to upload your map to the computer. Hopefully this video helps you. If it did, uh, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you guys have any other questions down below, or if you're looking to purchase an S300, a phone number will be listed down below. Our email also will be listed down below. Uh, we're here to answer any questions you have, and we'll walk you through the ways if you need more help. Thank you.